We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glad, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Family. It's bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities. Because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. What happens when you bank local? Our businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. To local bank. A bank that answers when you call. Max Drive In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. 
Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction contact us today we would love to help you dr brant rouse and associates new direction dental and sleep care renfro electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of oklahoma we are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service with over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of six million dollars we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect for any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. The Fort Gibson Education Foundation is a foundation that strives for student and education growth. We put forth every effort to assist our school to be the highest quality education system in the state. We offer our students the opportunity to build and grow in a healthy school environment. All donations given to the foundation are put directly back into the classroom for teachers and students so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. The foundation, along with all of our students and teachers, thank you for your continued support. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory. Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, 
and sticks Fort Quick Stop. Well, here we are at uh, district playoff game tonight, Nick. We have Fort Gibson Tigers versus the Hilldell Hornets. You got a shot of the ladies warming up here. What do you think about the ball game tonight? Say it again, Barry. So what do you think about the ball game tonight here? It's going to be a good matchup. Uh, Fort Gibson girls have been playing really good here as of lately. Can you hear me now? Perfect. Okay, there Nick we now we're having a little technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, we're good now. Now we can hear each other through the headsets and give you the broadcast. Uh, here we are, two minutes, 25 seconds before tip-off. Uh, Lady Tiger is definitely coming tonight. It's pretty heavy favorite, uh, highly seated team uh, coming in against the Lady Hornets, who are 8 and 11, coming off of a win in their last game. So, Nate, what do you got for some keys tonight? What do Lady Tigers need to do well? Uh, in, a, in a game like this, where, where they're fairly, you know, heavily favored, hey, you just gotta stay relaxed. Uh, you gotta stick, stick to what they're good at. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna probably, you know, be pretty quick uh, and, and really run the court. I would imagine um, very quickly early in the game. So they're gonna, they're gonna stick to what they're good at. They're gonna push the ball. Um, but yeah, they just gotta stay within themselves. Totally agree. Uh, it'd be interesting there that the last few weeks, Lady Tigers have been pressing more. Uh, may see them come out in that full court press, you know, for part of the first quarter. Uh, if they get this thing where they get out ahead a little bit, then that may stop. But we'll see uh, see what happens. I think we'll see a lot of Lady Tigers off the bench tonight. And uh, that'll be a good matchup. Fun to watch. Yep. Here we are, about a minute 15 to the tip. Uh, we'll uh, take the headsets off whenever they hit the national anthem, and then we'll come back to you. All right, let's uh, take these off for a second. Say the 
championship game tonight as the Hilldale Lady Hornets taking on your number four ranked Forkins and Lady Tigers. Visiting team on the board will be Hilldale. Lily Beverage. A senior, number 11, Caitlin Key. A sophomore, number 20, Macy Mackey. Sophomore, number 23, Grace Nail. And a sophomore, number 24, Darian Dials. Lady Hornets are coached by Kitty Burns, assisted by Orrin Sykes and Kitty DeGieselia. Yeah, definitely a young roster for the Hornets tonight. Yeah, very young. Yep, yep. Very as, as we was kind of looking through the roster here earlier, only one senior. We see a little mix and here with our Lady Tigers. We've got some experience and some youth. With a record of 18 wins and five losses, let's meet your starters. At 5'5", the junior, number three, Addie Whiteley. At six feet, the junior, number 12, Lady Stanley. At 5'6", the sophomore, number 21, Miley Walker. At 5'9", a freshman, number 22, Leah Peters. And his six feet, a freshman, number 25, Keshik Brown. You know, Nate, now that we've finished our lineups, uh, something that kind of jumps out at you or me, uh, the size of these Lady Tigers. We've got two six-footers and a five-nine. Um, bring some, something that not everybody has in 4A no. ladies basketball. No, you don't see that a whole lot. You know, 4A definitely uh, very top heavy this year, especially with, with Bethany, you know, them getting everybody back. Uh, but as far as the Tigers go, definitely a lot of athleticism, a lot of height uh, on the starting five for sure. Absolutely. And, you know, you've got Cash A. Laney or he's a in the boards, but uh, Addie Whiteley is a point guard. Gets a ton of rebounds, offensive and defensive. I mean, he's something you have to be mindful of. He goes to the boards. So here we go, opening tip. Time to get it on. Hilldale with possession. Let's see what the Lady Tigers come out in. Looks like we got a little zone action yeah, going. A little zone. Oh, man. Addie Whiteley with the steal and the run out to get things going with an easy two. Great start for the Lady Tigers. They are going to, looks like they are going to press. A little 1-3-1 one, one, looks like. Yeah, a little bit of what we talked about. They've yep. been feeding people up and uh, they're kind of, as the postseason comes on, it's something that looks like they're trying to add more and more of. See. With this lineup, having two freshmen out there in the starting lineup has, uh, has definitely brought some young energy to this group. Yeah, they're already fast and getting faster when they're out there. Yep. Jump ball, 2 4 Gibson. Another turnover caused out of the pressure. You know, Nate, uh, you're looking at a group on the floor for the Lady Tigers. You've got two girls there that have already had college offers, and uh, Laney Stanley and Addie Whiteley. And then Cache, I would say, is not far behind to get no, those no. kind of looks. So no. pretty special right there. No. Anytime you throw a team out there and go, hey, they've got three girls that are most likely college basketball players, and you don't know who on that bench over there for the Lady Tigers that's shown that, that could get in that mix also in the couple right. years. Absolutely, absolutely. Laney for three, and she shoots it at a pretty high clip. Right. Good save there by Addy. Laney's going to pull up again. Oh, another good look. Good to see these Lady Tigers. They're flying around, playing hard, yeah. just like you said. They are going to be fast, and they're going to make it hard on you. More that little zone trap, almost a 1-3-1. One, one. Got a wall. Travel violation for Gibson basketball. Pretty sure for the Lady Hornets, that three possessions and three turnovers. They haven't got a shot up yet, but that pressure is hard to handle right now. Yeah, for Gibson definitely going to use their athleticism tonight and their size. Good ball movement, little patience. Uh, it's kind of a benefit of where we're sitting right here. We get uh, Coach Lowe and the uh, Hildo coach right in front of us. You kind of see what they if they like what they're seeing or don't like right, what they're seeing. Right. He definitely want that ball to move a little faster. Hildo yeah. able to get it inside. They've got a little size in there too. Yep, yep. There's that athleticism on the run out, even though they don't get the basket. Just what you're talking about. Addy pushing the ball yeah. up to Cache. Yeah, Addy gets a rebound. They're definitely going to be pushing the ball tonight. 
100%. You know, that's something you have Cache at the top up there, giving her a little step that way. She's very fast and athletic, so hard to catch her. So lanky, too. A lot of range. Absolutely. I tell you, I, you know, Cache and my son were in the same grade for a few years, so I've seen Cache and her progression, and that girl puts in the work. She's exactly. in the weight room, she's in this gym. That's what they say. And uh, I've seen the improvement. She just got stronger, yep. and better every every step of the way. Has a high ceiling for sure. A skip pass. Yeah, good skip. Mm, another one off the mark. I think we've missed four threes so far, yep. but they're good yep. looks. Yep. Good looks. Balls is not falling so far. Yep. That was uh, Caitlin Keen with the ball in her hand, the lone senior for the Lady Hornets, number 11. Another steal and pushing it up. You get called for a foul. Mm -hmm. So here we got a couple of girls uh, checking in. Two seniors, I believe, right? Yep. yep. Got Jason Christie coming into the ball game as well as Peyton Sides. You know, we've seen more and more that of the years going on where he's kind of got he's kind of got seven that he's playing pretty regularly and eight sides in there also with yeah. his sister. Uh, both of these seniors, I kind of feel like their strength is spot up shooting, and they're going to give you good leadership and good effort. Oh, Lady Hornets with a basket in the end one. Yeah. Macy back, he's going to go to the first two foul number one. Coach Lowe, going to be happy about that one. We uh, reacted a little slow there on that backside. We right. be on the backside of that zone. Three point play for Macy Mackey. I, uh, I would have been wrong if you told me the Lady Hornets would have a lead with four minutes yep, here in the first yep. quarter. So, you know, we talked about those missed threes, and he puts in a couple girls here that can shoot it. Right. To see. They're going to get looks. He's going to have the shooters in. Let's get past there for about Lady. to see if it works. Another one off the mark. You know, I, I will say there's not a single shot that we've taken out there that they're disappointed in. If they right, leave us right. open for three, we're going to keep shooting that shot. Time out on the board, Charles Hill. It's going to be 30 seconds. Hill going to take a timeout here. Let's see, Coach Lowe, Coach Walker, Coach Whiteley. We got three good coaches there for Lady Tigers. Um, if y'all don't know, what's this is Coach West Whiteley is that Patty Whiteley there with him. Uh, 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 Jerry Walker, as I think everybody here you know, is one of the fans, Tiger fans, was a head coach here for many, many years uh, with a whole lot of success. Lots of state championships and uh, some runner-up. He was big man. He, he pretty much epitomizes what Lady Tiger basketball is and is all about. So here we are coming out of timeout. Going to show some more pressure. Cache extending all the way and leaning at the half line. Pretty much just falling back to that 1 3 1. Yep. Mm. And a foul there on Jason Christie. Foul number 10, Jason Christie. That's her first person. Jason had a sister named Allie Christie that played here and was part of some of those state championship yep. teams, yep. I believe. And my sister-in-law, Casey, uh, Allie is about the same age as her. They played together. I had to watch Allie Christie play quite a bit. Yeah, you have a uh, um, pretty good family history here with Lady we Tiger do. basketball. We do. Definitely do. 100%. Shout out to my wife, Allie. Two-time state champ, All-Stater. Uh, anyone that doesn't know, I'm pretty sure that uh, Allie may have more rings than Nate. <laughs> so, I mean, so. Go push the ball up, Cache. Can she get the finish this time? Yeah, nice right Cache Brown. No doubt. Uh, watched a really good game last uh, Tuesday. It was the Lady Tigers versus the Verdigers. Lady Tigers were down pretty big in the first half. Slow and offensive start to very, that game. Very, very slow. slow. Very slow. I would say right now, if I, I don't have a whole lot of concerns for the Lady Tigers, but that would be it, because here we are again tonight. Still having a hard time getting the ball in the basket early. But where they turned it on in the second half of that Burgers game. Yep. Athletic attack there by Addy. And that's where you really see the leadership. You know, some of the older girls, Laney, Stanley, Addy Whiteley, staying calm, staying within themselves, knowing, hey, you know, even though we're going to start off slow, we have a slow start to the game, hey, let's just stay calm, let's do what we do, and, you know, those shots will, will start falling. I agree. 
And there's no doubt that they feel very confident they can turn the defense up a little to lead to some of that athletic running out offense that we've talked about. So if the half court shots aren't falling or slowed down a little, they can speed you up and get out there in the transition game. Good ball movement. Three point attempt for the Hornets. Offensive rebound. Here, Coach Lowe telling him to put a body on yep. somebody down there. It's something we've got to do. Christie brings the ball to the floor. Skip, a couple skip passes, gets a good look for Addy. Mm, in and out. Everybody's going to glass. Coach Lowe not happy. Nobody's crashing the boards. Yeah, well, that's five or six missed yep. threes, and I don't think yep. we've had any of those rebounds yep. yet. You know, on the. Uh, a three-point miss is a good time for the long shot, long rebound, you know, for you to get offensive rebound. Laney, get, just swinging around. Lady Tiger's all moving. They just got to knock one down. Bang, there you go. Wiley for one, two, three. Yeah, it's like you said, Barry, down here, being this close, you know, you get a lot more um, insight to the action of what's being said. That last possession, Coach Lowe saying nobody's going to the glass. Not happy with how his team's rebounding right now and hitting the boards. Very good shot there by Addy Whiteley. Absolutely. So here we are. We've got a few Lady Tigers at the table getting ready to check in. Uh, one of them is a freshman that we haven't seen yet tonight. Brimley Moore, number five, at the table. Miley Walker. And uh, then we have Leah Peters' sister. If I can find her name here. We'll get her number in just a second. We'll get to, oh, uh, Allie Peters. Is it Allie? Yes, thank you. You know, they're just one grade apart, and they're both uh, both young athletic players with opportunities to keep getting better, for sure. Absolutely. Man, he will not be happy with that. Yeah. And we're about to see four new Lady Tigers come in. That tells you he's not happy with yeah. what's going on out there right now. The Lady Hornets definitely moving the ball very well in offense. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're passing the ball very well. Getting a lot of movement, getting those Tigers out of position. I'm going to give the Lady Tornets a ton of credit right here because. Absolutely, they're playing very good. They're if you know, you know, was it two weeks ago, they, they got drilled. They lose by 40 points. They didn't come out here like they were already beat. They've come out and brought the effort, and they've got this game tied at 9 9. Shots not falling for the Lady Tigers tonight from the on the two point. Totally agree. You know, I'm not Tigers sure if you're the Lady Tigers either. You're totally mad that you gave up nine points, but you're not very happy with really score. Right and number one, one right Absolutely. So we have both Peter sisters in. Jason Christie, Brindley Moore, and Miley Walker bringing the ball to the floor. This is definitely a sign that he's not happy with what he's seen. Right. He has taken out his top scores for the season and got these girls in. You're not going to be happy here either. Coach Lowe is not pleased. No the shot there, even though we have the ball. <laughs> nine to nine at the end of the first. You know, uh, Lady Hornets are in the zone. We're not shooting the ball very well yet. I have no doubt that they're going to start falling. Uh, I had a friend that told me he was a, he was a really good scorer, a really good shooter. He said, hey, if I miss five, I thought I'd make the next five because the law of averages, they're going to start falling if they're a good shooter. And, and, and that's your mentality. If you're if you're a spot-up shooter, if that's your game, you, if it's, you got a night where it's not falling, you can't be afraid to keep shooting the ball. Yes, absolutely. Biggest concern when you talk about that game, you know, I mentioned that we played uh, Burger Griss, who's a pretty good basketball team. That first half, when we had a hard time scoring, same thing. We weren't able to knock down the three. The second half, we came out and we really forced that inside to Laney and Cache. It didn't matter what yeah. defense they were in. And they kind of were rotating from that high post to low block. And you didn't know how to stop it if you were Burgers. And that's how we came back and started putting the ball in the basket. Yeah. So. Local bank is proud to take part in bringing you tonight's game. Visit localbank.com. Let them know how they can help you. Thank you to our 23-24. Local bank trucks for you. American Legion from Frank Glass, Coach 20. Armstrong Bank, Vermont Wireless. Second quarter, actually, Hilldale Basketball. Crematory for Gibson Education Foundation. The Hardware and Supply, Rich Verbal Electric. Zomax School of Music. Jeff Walker, Edward Jones, Max Dryden, Tigers Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Boy, Dr. Kimberly B. Rossett, GNH Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey, Chenoweth Cohen, 
New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks 4 Miles Stop, Sticks 4 Quick Stop. Thank you to all of those sponsors. Absolutely thankful for uh, thankful for what they do for the Fort Gibson Public Schools. Yes, you see a lot of good community support in this town, and I tell you, uh, what I see here though is kind of that same kind of environment. You know, their local businesses definitely support that school, and they have a good community yep. over there. Absolutely. It's kind of uh, interesting as the years have gone by. It was a big rivalry. It's still a rivalry because of uh, proximity, but I see way more of these kids that are friends. You know, when the game is over, football, yeah. basketball, yeah. all the way around, which yeah. it's a good thing. You want to compete hard, but you got to be able to still have the right attitude. Ooh, big shot right there. There was that ball moving a little inside out that time instead of just passing around the perimeter. And Leah with a nice three. The turnover there for us by the Tigers. No, definitely. Hilldale's produced a lot of great athletes. Um, during my junior college days, uh, played baseball with a couple really good baseball players from Hillel and Hunter Harrison, who I believe is one of their assistant baseball coaches now. Okay. And um, Jared Poti, very, very good baseball players that I had the opportunity to play with. Uh, you're free there, Maddie White. Just what we were talking about. You know, if they're good shots, you keep shooting them. Right, you start heating right. up, there's two in a row. Yep. You can tell. Uh, the little set down for the last minute of the first quarter, kind of like, hey, ladies, we got to come out ready to play, has woke them up. When we talk baseball players coming out of here, though, when we get the boys game night, they've got one on the court that we can talk about yeah, a little bit, too. Yeah, they definitely do. Well, here you go. We've got Cache anchored back in that paint more. You'll notice uh, Cache Brown, number 25, is posting up, and Laney. Very similar to what they did at Burgess. Instead of just standing out there and only shooting threes, they're going to flash them in. Leah Peters going to go to the line. It's uh, exactly what Lowe's talking about. There's that offensive and rebound. Here's what it leads to. Got to start going to the glass, crashing the wheel. Yeah, you know, I talked about that size advantage, and we didn't really cash in with it on the offensive rebound, but it looks like that's getting ready to start going yep. the way. Yeah. Something I'm always interested to see when I'm watching basketball uh, on this free throw. Are you going to go in your press even if you miss it? We won't find out yet. You, you know, most teams always press on the make if they're a pressing team, but I see more and more teams if they press even on the miss. You know, the Lady Tigers flying around, having some real tough pressure here. And it caused a bad pass, but worked out for them. Number 24 for the Hornets with another shot here. Rebound there by Cache. Addy Wiley pushing the ball. It's skip pass up to the top. To Walford for three. That's good. Yeah, that's three in a row for the Lady Tigers. They have flipped the script. No, that's just like you said. You know, if they're, if they're gonna have the looks throughout the night, you gotta keep shooting the ball. It'll, it'll start falling. First quarter wasn't falling for them. They're still getting the looks. Keep shooting the ball. Those shots start going in. And I totally agree. Feel like we are flying around a lot more. Yeah. Defense looks good. Definitely a lot more energy, it seems like, in the second quarter for the Lady Tigers. You know, I, I'm, the Lady one. Tigers have three great coaches. I'm sure they had them coached up, but it's still hard to come out on a team that you beat by 30-some points and bring that energy at the opening tip. But they have sure responded and turned it up, which is a good sign. Miley Walker, nice play there to get a hand on the pass. Yep. Nothing easy. We're denying right now you're on this inbound. Make it work for it for sure. Good drive. Good yeah. challenge by Lane. That's a nice finish. Here. Number 24, Darian Dines. He's a sophomore. Definitely long, rangy, athletic yeah. looking. She's got to be in that six foot tall range or just yep. under. Oh, what a drive. Back up to the Walker. In and out, rebound by Cache. Cache. So here we are to start this quarter. We've got three three makes. The two misses have both led to offensive rebounding points. So we're scoring almost every possession. And you know that was definitely a, a, a point of emphasis by Coach Lowe between the quarters there. Hey, you got to get start crashing the boards, got to get to the glass, and we got to get those rebounds. Well, that was nice defense there by Addie Whiteley and Lady Stanley deflecting that pass to the middle. Boy, Addie, yep. if you're not paying attention, yep. that girl's a jet. She will blow right yeah. by you. Such a good ball handler. To weave in and out of traffic to get to the glass. If she gets out, 
rebound on the defensive end. She's going to push the ball. You know, uh, I'm not sure. That, I don't have a name here for the head coach of Lady Hornets, but I can tell you she is fired up. She yep. is giving it to him right here. Yep. Uh, you know, she's not happy with the energy. I think that she's seen slip away from what they have in the first quarter to the second. And it'll be interesting to see how these Lady Hornets respond. Uh, I have a feeling they're going to come out and play hard. I feel like every time I've seen them this year, they've played hard. So I don't think it'll be an effort thing. It'll just be how well can the Lady Tigers execute what they're wanting to do. The head coach for the, the Lady Hornets, I believe, is Kenny Lippy, what her maiden name is. She's a Yeah, ORU, basketball player, very, very good high school athlete. I believe she's married now. I'm not quite sure where her last name is, but I, I do know her maiden name's Lippy. Her father is the superintendent. Well, hey, that's that's she was a very good basketball player. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep, she was. She yeah. was. She's a Mays County girl. <laughs> great high school basketball player herself. Great career at ORU. You know, we get a little look here in the crowd on the broadcast and be the Tiger fans. Really good turnout tonight yep. on the home side. Uh, kind of a little back behind us here. Looks like, yeah, Hilldale's traveled well too, as they usually yep. do. Makes for a great environment for a fun night of basketball. The Blue Tiger's still pressing. Uh, going to extend that pressure and keep it going for sure. I think this is going to be a little bit of a trademark for the playoffs for the Lady Tigers. If they are going to come out and press. Yeah. Makes it easy to play fast from that pressure. Miley on the trail. I will say the uh, Lady Hornets are kind of flying around. Not that the skip's not they there. Are. Pushing the ball in transition. Knocked away by Addie Wiley. Going to stay down here with the Lady Hornets. Absolutely. Addie is so, so quick and fast. So Those quick hands like that. I mean, if you're not paying attention, she's taking the ball going the other way. Yep. You know, everybody talks about how she can score, but her defense is super yeah. impressive. I believe she had a career high in the old court tournament. I can't remember if it was 32 or 34 against the... Still well. Yeah, Still well. A great, great game. game. Yeah. Great game. It's a nice shot there by the Caitlin old senior, Caitlin King, for the Lady Hornets. I'm going to say that they responded well to the coach uh, in that timeout. Yep. They come out and brought effort. You know, if you are the Lady Hornets or any opponents playing Lady Tigers, the zone is very tempting because it slows us down. But I feel like we shoot the ball well enough that I don't think you can just stand in the zone and beat the Lady Tigers. Right. There we get it inside. Nothing there. And another turnover. Addie going to push the ball. They're fresh from number five, Brendan Moore on the run out. Yep. Kicked out to Walford for three. No good. Rebound there by the freshman. Back up for Addie. Mm, in and out. Nice. There by, by Lady Stanley. And Lady Stanley from a, a, a great family of athletes as well. I'm not, sure I can't, I'm not sure if it's her uncle or her cousin, Nathan Stanley. Really good quarterback for Tallahassee, Sequoia. Okay. For probably around 2007, 2006. Played at Ole Miss. Yes, I didn't know they were family. Miss. Yep. Okay. Yep. Lady, and I'm not sure if that'd be a cousin or a, a uncle to Lady, but Nathan, great high school quarterback here in the state of Oklahoma and went on to play college football at Ole Miss. Laney brings a lot of size, athleticism, yep. shoots the ball, block shots, rebounds, passes well. You know, uh, not great just a post player that great goes and vision. stands inside. Yeah, so. she's got great vision, great instincts. And I think a lot of people uh, kind of neglect Number her shooting ability. A lot of times, you know, we've seen a lot Shoot of people leave her alone out there on the three, see. and she'll pull up and, and, and knock down a lot of three. She don't shoot the ball. Um, don't, doesn't shoot a also whole lot of threes, but I'd like to see her three point percentage on the No, I think it's sneaky yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it is sneaky good. Yep. And, you know, on the right night, uh, there's been a few games where she's stuck in four or five threes. And yep. You just can't leave her. Yep. You know, it's, and I understand if I'm a coach with her size, I like her going down to the block and scoring, but I also like her being able to step up and shoot the three also, a little inside out threat. So we do have another freshman in the game there, uh, number four, Sage Benson. As we were saying, uh, that's a couple of those freshmen that I'm saying that are not starters, but will be starters in the yeah, future. Yeah, they definitely contribute to future Lady Tiger teams. Absolutely. I know they had a very successful season. They were the Burgers Valley champs, so that freshman group was for the ladies. And that was Ooh. without your two starters. They, you know, they didn't play, of course, in that freshman game. 
Great effort there by Darian Dials. So here we're in our 2 3 zone out of the inbounds. The men will switch out of it. We've got our senior number 14 Sykes back in also. Not a combination you've seen on the floor much this year, but good time to get some out there. And one of these players may step up in a playoff game with a huge shot. You know, there's a need, something's got foul trouble, or, or we're looking for something that you do specifically, and you've got to be ready to go. Right. So they're extending the Extending the, the zone. Mm. Right there. Yeah, that pass is not the one they're looking for. Foul on Caitlin King. Last charge to number 11, Caitlin King. Her first team foul, number two. If they extend this zone for very long, the Lady Tigers are getting some really good looks out of yeah. this. Now, I don't blame Hilda for trying it and see if they can get a turnover or two, but if they stay in this, it's not going to be long. You're going to have a wide open three in the corner, or somebody's going to flash that high post area. Right there on the front side, because I want her to be ready. This is a shot coming. Yep, skip pass. Exactly. That's it. That's it. Six for one, two, three. And you know, you can paint Sykes 5'10. Also got yep, some good height. Yep, yep, great size for the Tigers. Peyton moved in this year. Um, I believe she came from Warner. This is her first year here. She's definitely had some good moments this season. Looks like we got a foul there. Foul's at number 12, Lainey Stanley. Her first Lainey team Stanley. foul number two. And that will say Caitlin King at the line. Caitlin King to the line. Just one minute left till halftime here. So you think the Lady Tigers had nine in the first quarter. They've had 21 in the second. 21 is a really good quarter for high school basketball. We've still got some time to go. You really can say the, the Hornets have kind of kept doing the same thing on the offensive end. They just uh, weren't able to stop the Lady Tigers in the second quarter. Yep. Lady Tigers definitely shooting the ball way better for the three-point range in the second quarter. Got Allie Peters into the ball game. Lane violation. Shoot, shoot again here. Lane violation on the Lady Tigers. So she's getting that third try here. And it pays off for him. Not one out of the three, but in the book it's only one out of two. Jason and Christy going to bring the ball up for the Lady Tigers. You got that pressure up high. You don't want to get caught in the corner holding for very long. The skip, skip is there. To, skip to Peters. Skip back across the side, down to the corner. Here's one of your freshmen. That's good. Hey, Benson. Yep. Sage um, Benson for one. Two. Talking to Coach Walker and Coach Lowe, they definitely feel like that is one of Sage's strengths, that she can shoot the yeah. ball. I, I've heard you don't want to let her get it going because she can for sure shoot the ball. Good look down there for the Lady Hornets. Get the ball to the ball. Really nice finish there for Darian yep. Dials. Yep. She's had a, had a few baskets down. Yeah, she has. Bates Sykes, her third personal team foul number three. Dials at the line for the three-point play. Here it is, 33 to 17, 28 seconds to go. Looking for that three-point play, and she's got she it. She gets it. There he is. Look, good looking stroke there. Ball that good coming off her hands. Be interesting to see here if Coach Lowe wants one shot here with 23 seconds left. See if Lady Tigers trying to set something up. Yes. I'm a fan of the uh, one shot when you get under 30 for yep. sure, and in the right situation or a minute. It's a risky pass right there. Yeah, that's. Oh. Sage Bishop throws the ball away there. Nine seconds left. You know, you've got these girls out here, they're freshmen. They definitely have some really good abilities and strengths, but this is why you want them out here. Good environment, big crowd. You know, next year that, that tournament won't happen. Yep. Well, your baby next week. You know, that's the type thing you want to get out here, get that experience. Yep. So he's going back with his, uh, so it is for the Lady Tigers. He's starting lineup back in here to get one last look. Right here, if I'm Lady Tigers, I want the ball in Addie's hand. Let her make a decision. Yep. She can go. She can dish. Let her see if she can drive, pull up around the elbow, or decide to kick it out. She 
going to pull up. You got to pull up. Pretty good yep. defense. We got a good rebound back. there. Put back no good. Well, the Lady Tigers will be much happier with that second quarter than they were yep. the first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but if you're Coach Lowe, definitely a lot better performance in that second quarter. Yes. A lot yeah. better rebounding. He kept shooting the ball, those shots started to fall. You know, if you are a Tiger faithful, you are looking for the airplanes that are usually here for the halftime paper airplane. Are toss. they doing it? They do not do that in the playoffs. So oh, okay. No, no. So is we it, won't is have that an OSSAA deal? Or is it I, I don't know, but you know, we at the end of the season, they give they away. Did the, they did the big one, one the last game. Yes, yeah, right. so you get Chick fil A yeah. for a year. Six, and eight, was that Mr. Eight, Farmer's eight, son? It was. One? David Farmer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A bit of inside yes. cooking potentially on that one. Yeah, we'll have to ask Mr. Farmer about that. See if that's what happened there. So, uh, Nate, any takeaways here before we sign off for a few minutes? No, no. If you're, if you're the Lady Hornets, you got to keep doing what you're doing. Moving the ball, get the ball passed around, try to get inside the dials, try to get inside the key, let them get good looks on the mismatches when Fort Gibson's got their, their younger moves in. Um, if you're Fort Gibson, keep pushing the ball, keep shooting the ball. That's, that's, that's all I got. Absolutely. All right, we'll be back in about five minutes. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We, we are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory. Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chenoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Family, it's bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities, because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. What happens when you bank local? Our businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish.
Welcome to Local Bank. A bank that answers when you call. Max Drive-In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive-In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction contact us today we would love to help you dr brant rouse and associates new direction dental and sleep care Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. The Fort Gibson Education Foundation is a foundation that strives for student and education growth. We put forth every effort to assist our school to be the highest quality education system in the state. We offer our students the opportunity to build and grow in a healthy school environment. All donations given to the foundation are put directly back into the classroom for teachers and students so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. The foundation, along with all of our students and teachers, thank you for your continued support. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. We are Cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We, we are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. 
We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory. Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply. Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. third quarter. Lady Tigers have the ball. Back with their starters. Came out with the lower load set. They're on the strong side. Looking inside. Yep. Wasn't there. God, sloppy pass. Yep. And again, great effort there for yep. Caitlin Keene, yep. the senior. Yep. Great anticipation. <clears throat> she seems uh, very athletic. I'm yep. interested in what other sports she plays. You know, a lot of these, most of these athletes are multi-sport athletes in some form or fashion. Yep. There's that Good. passing ability yeah. from the Laney Stanley yeah. you were yeah. talking great about. Great vision, great vision. She's got great instincts. Good job by Cache as well to see that lane and, and take that opportunity and head towards the block right there. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and get ahead of myself a little and say something that I'm always interested to see here. At what point, if you're the Lady Tigers, you Jump keep on. rolling, do you... Stop with the starters. Now, this is just district, so you have no other games coming up. Or next week, that would be a little more important on a Thursday game. You're thinking about the Saturday back. Uh, be interesting to see. We saw five subs in the first half, so I think we'd probably see the bench kind of early if they can pull on away and have yep. another quarter like they did yep. in the second. And it's kind of the balance. You know, you, you want your team to, to stay sharp. And, you know, it's not too often, yes. You get the Lady Stanley for one, two, three. Yes, in practice, you know, you get your looks. But, it's, you know, getting this, these, these game time looks like this is, is really valuable. So it's kind of a balancing act, keeping your starters in, but then letting your younger uh, players get that experience as well. So it's kind of a fine line a little bit. Some, some coaches, I feel, are probably more of the mindset. They want their girls, their starters, to, to get the looks to get the live game looks, and then some are probably more of the mindset they want to get their younger girls in for experience. So it just kind of depends, probably. I agree. I like when you get that balance where you get a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, but I will agree that no matter how good practice is, it's really hard to replicate game speed right. and game right. setting. Right, right. This time of year, you know, I can kind of see them keeping the starters in a little bit longer just to get that game speed and get those reps. Mm -hmm. So here we are, that overload set again. Yep. Uh, Laney, you know, she hit a three out of that spot. She hit the cutter. Good move from Cache. Yep. Not something we've seen in a ton of this year, that overload like that. Yeah. It gives him a good chance for to be a passer, even though that one got tipped and stolen. Yep. Deep three there for. Ooh, great shot. Lily Beverage. Lily Beverage, the sophomore for the Lady Hornets. Like we said, these Lady Hornets have came out. Uh, this game has not looked like the last game that I've read. Right, though. very, a lot of energy. Yes, very good energy, very yep. good effort. They are scoring the ball much better than they did over there. Yeah. Great steal there from Addy. Good pass from Addy on the three. Miley with a good look. That's when you want her shooting. Yep. <laughs> Good anticipation there right. by number 23, Grace Nail, another sophomore. Mm -hmm. You can have a starting lineup. They have four sophomores over at Hildell. Yeah, good, good young group. I don't know what they've coming up behind them in the freshman eighth grade type class, but you know that gives you the potential to bring, bring some more wins. So Coach Lowe is, looks like he's called a little change there, but anyway, nice. Leah Peters wasn't stopped. She just drilled right in that elbow and knocked down the shot. Before Gibson with some full court pressure. Good hands by yep. Cache and that pressure. 
Maddie getting over to that right side. Good finish. Could have been an and one, but nice strong finish going up through the defender. That pressure kind of called the balls yep. again, but it's batted around and Hillel's going to their basket. Good basket. Macy, Macy Maggie, another sophomore for the Lady Hornets. Nice skip pass to Julia Peters. Uh, Traveling by Air Basketball. <laughs> you know, if I'm, if I'm Scott Lowell or his assistants, turnovers are my turnovers and coming out for you are my little kind of concern. Uh, we, no doubt, we have multiple girls that can handle the basketball well. But those little bitty things, they seem little, but when you get to the state tournament, right, those little this, things are what are the difference in winning or losing. Yeah, this time of year, those, those things are definitely magnified for sure. So good, strong drive there by the yep. senior, Caitlin King. Going to go to the line for two. Round number 21, Miley Wofford. That's her first personal team foul no, number one. We know. So they Caitlin check King in our two freshmen. Yeah, no, yep, Sage. Sage Benson and Brittany so Moore. Two freshmen for two freshmen. Yep, yep. It's always nice when you have that luxury when you can do that Absolutely. from a coaching standpoint. Yeah, and you, you look at the, uh, the talent that's coming back next year, they're going to be really good again yep. next year if you're the Lady Tigers, which is something we've been saying for about the last 20 years. <laughs> so it has been a long run of state tournament appearances yep. for the Lady Tigers. <laughs> Looking up there at the uh, banner, it goes back to 2005. That was a nice yep. rebound. She didn't get the put back. A good rebound there for the Hornets. Turns into an and one yeah. for number 24, Darian Dallas. Great job staying with her right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Laney is a great yeah, rebounder. Yeah, so yeah, she gets that board the there. So that's, when you have two bigs battling inside position, it's huge. Yeah, you can get inside Dials, and get that board. Yep. The line for the three point play. <laughs> Dials, another Brown, sophomore for, for the Lady Hornets. Lady Hornets really so far, you know, starting third quarter. They came out on a really good start yep. this third quarter. We haven't been able to stretch the lead out yet. That extended pressure. Which I tell you, I think it's a great thing for us to see that extended zone. Lotus Grove girls ran that extended zone like that. It kind of yep. gave us some problems. Uh, I know with Coach Tech, we've got, we're prepared for what we're seeing. You know, anything that gets you ready for the next round of the playoffs or later on is a, is a right. great thing. That was a little freshman, freshman pass. I guess you had Brindley Moore, didn't get the finish, but with three freshmen, a sophomore, and a junior on the floor right now. Three, no good for Addy. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a foul on Cache. You know, it's a tough foul call. When, you know, when you're an athletic person, you're just going yeah, for the basketball. Yeah. You get two hands on the ball. If you didn't run through a basket, really that's tough. Could have been a borderline jump ball, but. Agreed. No, that was good position by the Lady Hornets, but I, I'm i big on if you can get two hands on the ball on your vertical, you know, you're allowed to go up and grab the basketball. You're just not allowed to jump on somebody. Right. And there's that pressure. Yet again, get him to speed him up and cause a turnover. Which that's something we've seen from Lady Tigers all season. If they speed you up, they're going to get some turnovers. Right. That's, that's what they want. They want to play fast. They want to push the ball. Great ball. Good good good. There. Great job by the freshman, Brindley Moore. Yeah, nice speed. Freshman to freshman. Cash yeah. down to Brindley. Yeah. Yeah. number 20, Macy Mackey. That's you know, that high-low game has been pretty timeless. It, that's Brindley been around the line for the 50 play. years, and if you execute it, there's yeah. a... If you've got somebody that can hit that little free throw jumper and you have to respect it, you can get the one-on-one -on, -one on the block. And everybody's looking for that at every level. Here we are showing that pressure. Yep. At uh, senior number 10, Jocelyn. Check into the game. Jocelyn Christie. Or is it Jason? Jason. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank yep. you. Yep. Jason Christie. Yep. yep. Foul number four, I believe that would come from her dad's name. 
Jason, the daughter of Jason Christie, professional bass fisherman, a lot of success. Absolutely. You know, we were talking a little bit about families and uh, talent that's come through. Uh, Eddie Whiteley, being the younger sister of two other Lady Tigers, uh, yes. one gold balls. Uh, Jenna and Zoe, great, great basketball players for the Tigers. Absolutely. Previous years. Zoe going on, of course, to play for Roger State, RSU. Then they've got the uh, younger brother, who we'll see in a few years, yep. John Whitey. Yep. Really good basketball and football player, good athlete, very athletic family. Well, two, three out of that underneath. Beverage for three again. That's her second of the yep. night, I believe. Yep. Another one of the sophomores for the Lady Hornets. That's one I don't think we're real happy. That was not very good effort on our defense. I mean, yep. great problem for the Lady Hornets, but we just weren't reacting real yep. fast on that. And at this level, you can't get away with that. Laney going to get a good look, but it's tipped. Yep. Mm. Nice hustle by the Isles. Yep. They're going to get yep. a yep. hand on it. Talking about two, two different things right there. We didn't react real fast. They got a good looking three. They did react fast and got a hand on the three. Let's look and see what we're doing here for our offense. Uh, we got that kind of four out, one in, with Cache being the one in. She'll work around that free throw line and can dive down if she sees something. Christy for three. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, good. Jason can shoot basketball. Uh, I know she took a year off, I believe, last year. And uh, glad she came back for her senior yeah. year. She's hit some big shots this she season. Has. Uh, there was a corner three in, the, in our tournament that was a really big shot. I think that's still well game. Yep. It was a great, great way to kind of put him away. Number 30, Charlie Medley back in for the Lady Hornets. So now we've got a little bit of our older lineup in there. You've got yep. two juniors, two seniors, and then freshman Cache Brown. Long time Cache has been a major asset. Um, one of our top three leading scorers for sure. Three. You know, uh, if you're if you're watching Lady Tiger, you know, how am I going to stop? Her? Let's say you're about to play us in regionals. Adding Laney and Cache, three-headed monster. You can't just yeah. decide you're going to take one or two of them away. Right, right. And, and to stop those three is going to be a handful. And when you talk about the other top teams, maybe some of them can play some man and make it hard on us. But you get up in man, there's a good chance Addie's going to blow by you. Right. Now, when it, comes, when it comes to those three you just mentioned, I, I mean, you almost feel confident. If you were to isolate any one of them at the top of the key with the ball, you would trust any one of those three with the ball. Yeah. Absolutely. And as we're seeing now, you're surrounding them with shooters. Yep. Right. First quarter, we shot it bad. We shot it really well since. Yep. So they were able to stretch that lead out to 22 points going into the fourth. We've seen him play 10 players tonight. I'm sure this bench will shorten up as these playoffs go on. Uh, neat to see, though, these freshman girls get an opportunity to play in a good environment with a really good crowd here tonight. And uh, I've got nothing but good things to say about these Lady Hornets uh, and how they've come out and brought the effort. No, they definitely have. They've had a lot of energy tonight. That is how you turn a program around. I mean, if they've... They went to the state tournament quite a few years ago, and it's been a deep burn since. But you've got a young coach in who knows the game, and you can tell she's bringing the energy, and she expects energy out of them. And that's how you turn a program around. It doesn't happen overnight, but you know they've got eight wins. That's nothing to be uh, be shameful of for sure. You know, I promise you, they're hoping they can win one in the regionals, maybe two, to see what happens. We care. We care about you, your business, and your family. I'm not sure, Nate, do you have any idea who the uh, Lady Tigers will be looking at as a projected matchup in the first round of regionals, which will also be a home game for Lady Tigers? Do you know that, Dean? No. 
it, it, it's good. I mean, just around here, there's so many good teams. I mean, between Smoke Stroke, Still Well, Wagner, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see how, how you know, how regionals in the area shake out. Yes, I but know. There's definitely a lot of talent on this four, east side four, of the state. Four, four, yes, yes, and, they're, and they're all pretty evenly matched. I mean, um, you know, I think we did we lose to Wagner early in the year. We did early, and then in the we year, beat yeah. we beat them. We beat Locus early in the year, and they beat us last time we played. We beat Stillwell, but, but a lot of evenly matched teams yes. um, on this east side of the state. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with, between regionals and area. Yeah, you know, you're looking on uh, for the boys in this Hildell Fort Gibson matchup. You will uh, almost definitely see Perkins coming. They're the number four team in the state, and that's the winner of that boys game. will probably see Perkins, and uh, we'll do a little investigation to see who the girls will have. And we'll We'll let you all know what it looks like for your Hornets and your Tigers. And there's Cache Brown getting a hand on a pass after some good pressure by Laney. The uh, Hilldale fans aren't liking that foul call, yep. but uh, it's great they got a little hand there. Niles, her first She's played well. Yep. 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 Her and King, Cache Brown on the line. I agree. All over the court tonight. Now, if you're a Hilldale fan, definitely a lot to be excited about the upcoming years. A lot of young talent, for sure. A lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen on this roster. A lot of stuff that can, good base that can be built upon. Yeah, and you know, if you've got the coach that you think is the one for the future, you yeah. want to make sure you don't lose that person, because yeah. that's, that's the key to get things going the right way. So Lady Tiger still showing that full court press. Uh, this game's taking a little closer than I thought it would, so they've kept the pressure on longer, which I understand in that situation. Yep. Ooh, tough foul call on Laney Stanley. Foul number 12, Laney Stanley, her second personal, team foul number one. You know, it hadn't been a whole lot of fouls called, but nobody's in foul trouble for either team that I've seen. Both teams have played hard, did good effort. So we're staying in this no catch right here. You know, if, you'd love to get a steal if you can because you're going the other way with nobody between you and the basket. And the deep three for Beverage is no good. One of them balls in Addie's hands. Head up, They're eyes up. up. She's looking. She's going to push the ball. Good shot for yep. Rome. That's a look that yep. we'll take. You're getting six or eight feet with her. She's going to make it most of the time. And if you're a shooter and you're playing with her, you want to get out there and get spotted up because she'll find it if you're open. Jump ball to the go. No good out. He's healed up much. I mean, this, no. is a, this is the starters in the fourth quarter. Uh, she has That's what not I'm saying. played still, much of the bench, if any. If I'm a Hildo fan, there's definitely still a lot to be excited about for the upcoming year. A lot of young talent. A lot of energy. Pretty scrappy bunch. Very much agree. Zaddy pushing the ball yep. up again. Got that overload over on the left side. So that gives Addy the right side that she could attack. Cut. Now we've changed sets. Well, Great nice look there. Good pass. Yep. <laughs> Great screen set by Lady on that one. Boy, when you're a coach and you make a play call and you switch offenses and you get a layup out of it, that's, uh, that's what you're looking for. Yep. That's good yep. coaching. Yep. That's what you want to see this time of year especially. Well, Lady gets in front of that pass in the middle this time. She's going to be able to pull three. up. Three. Lady Stanley for one, two, three. You know, when we're talking next level, uh, she can pass and she's a three to go with her size and ability. That's That opens doors. Absolutely. That's what I was kind of talking about earlier. Lady, you know, she's, I'd like to see her three-point percentage on the year. She's, she's probably got, you know, close to 40%. I would say. She's, she's, she's shot the ball really good from three this year. Like, a lot of teams, you know, they, they'll, they'll leave her out. She's going to be good this year. Yeah, that ain't rightly coming out of the game. She does not come out very much. If it's a tight game, she's yeah. not coming to be off the floor. And we're talking about you know, next year, you'd like to think that Stanley and Wiley both have a really good chance to be All-Staters. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of cap their careers here. 
Passing around, Sykes the senior, she's not going to turn it down. Rebounded by Caitlin King. Got a number 15, Kinsley Allen, who's checking the ball game for the Hilda Lady Hornets. Along with Charlie Medley, one of the freshmen for the Lady Hornets. Lady Tigers in that 2 3 zone. You know, still trying to play passing lanes, not just in there and bear in the shoot. Nice shot by the senior. Yep. Three. She's had a really good night. She's she has. played a good game. Yep. You know, it's a tough draw to so have to go play the number 14 in the state of the districts. So, right there, same play that we ran earlier that got a layup this time. Uh, Hill and Lady Hornets gave All us a little bump one. and we're yep. ready. Yeah, yep. they weren't yep. going to give us that one. I'm sure we have a second option right there when that's not open. We don't want to force it. We just want to move it around and keep that offense going. Kinsley with the ball in the middle, trying to feed it down low. You know, Nate, I can't let this game finish out without mentioning uh, your wife, who was Allie Glover at the time. I would say, without a doubt, hit the most famous shot in Fort Gibson history at any level, probably any sporting event. Uh, Lady Tigers were in the middle of a unbelievable comeback in the state finals. And about where Miley Walford is now, when she backed up, <laughs> yeah. Allie hits the game-winning three. It's so funny. We'll, we'll talk about that shot, Barry. And to this day, she's still like, I don't know what I was thinking. I just grabbed, they threw it to me, and I shot it. I don't know why I shot it. Well, it's always so funny when we'll talk about that. It was fun. I've got some friends that are uh, been around that uh, that group of girls a lot, and they told me, "Hey, all the way back from the time when we were in fifth grade, the game was on the line. I was going to make the shot." Yeah. So I can't beat her at horse. It's frustrating. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I would want to play yeah. her in horse. Yeah. You yeah. can shoot the basketball. Very, very fresh. I beat her the very first time we ever played when we were dating, and I haven't beat her since. <laughs> Hey, yep. Nate, that might have been uh, my dose she, she gave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> might have let me on that one. <laughs> That's right. She said, hey, it's early on. Now I've got him around. I'm yeah. going to give him a break. You know, uh, and like I say, your sister in law great basketball players yep. here also. Jody yep. Glover, she was part yep. of the first yep. ever state championship here. All, all three of the Glover daughters, uh, all staters. That's right. Jody, Allie, and Casey. And Casey, she just had a, had a baby not long yep. ago, correct? Yep. First yep. one for yep. her and Trey. Yep. yep. Lena Joe Allen. You know, and if we're talking uh, basketball in the Glover family, it's hard not to talk about Liz, their yep. mother. Yep, the mother. Uh, Liz, anybody? Big Eight, uh, two-time conference player of the year. Yes, an Played unbelievable career. The state. Got some new faces here for the Lady Tigers. We got Alexa Ragsdale in to the ball game. Yeah, another freshman. Yep. She's been their point guard for uh, all the middle school basketball. Then we got, I believe, Raylan, was that a senior. Yep, we got Raylan King Love into it. the game. Absolutely. Raylan came in. Which which game was it a while back? She came in and hit some shots. And she remember. sure did. Yeah, yeah, she got some rebounds. I'm proud remember, of her. Yeah. Absolutely. I can't remember who that was a couple games ago. She came in and made some plays. You know, Raylan and then her twin sister is a trainer. Uh, they've been around Lady Tiger basketball for all of their high school. Great, great girls. I love yeah. it. Travel the there on, on Peters. You know, Allie's got a bright, bright future. Those are the little things that she's going to have to clean up, and yep. she will. She's, yep. she's going to work hard. She's going to get those things down. And it's going to be a force to be reckoned with for sure. Yep. Those Peter girls, they definitely have the athleticism, but that's what you can't coach. That's the right. fundamentals, rest of that, they can get coached up, they can fix that, but they definitely got the athleticism. Yeah, I agree. Lady Tigers have a lot of athletes in yep. a lot of different positions, even way down that bench. And, oh, that's... Like you say, you can't coach that. Miles number 23, Raylan King, her first. Caitlin King going to go to the line. We'll let you win it. Second team. Five. I'm going to guess that her and Dials are both close to double digits tonight. They probably are. Believe me, I know that the Lady Hornets aren't. They didn't come in here playing the Blues. When you play the Lady Tigers, and they have to have their quarter, starters in the fourth quarter, and you're making it hard on them, they've got to be proud of what they've yeah. done tonight. 
Campbell Sr. with the rebound. Yep. Good for Raylan. Alexa kicks it up to Benson. Benson could have fed it or shot it. She's running inside for the layup. Brindley Moore off the glass for two. What's her second basket of the night, I believe? You may not know, but Brindley was a Hornet. Uh, oh, and they moved to Fort Gibson a few years yep. ago, yeah. Kinsley Allen. You know what's funny as I'm getting a kid around that age to be a freshman next year. There's a lot more reshuffling, moving, and things than I realize at, at multiple schools. It's, Absolutely. Uh, you know, and, and life just plays in that sometimes too. You know, where mom and dad's jobs, what are we going to do? Right. And groups change for sure. Brad still doesn't accept the key. Love to see her get a shot, get a basket, yep. you know, always rooting for the seniors. Brindley Moore, nice drive, just didn't, didn't quite finish in and out. Great effort from the Hornets and the Tigers, yep. still playing hard. Awesome. Good rebound Julie there by the so first two found One of the three. juniors for the Hornets. Absolutely. You know, both these teams, you're trying to prove something even in these last minutes because some of those seniors are going to be gone. There's going to be minutes available. Who's going to go right. rattle for them? Right. You know, Lady Tigers, they won't lose any starters, but still, you're talking about your first two subs have been seniors. If you're down that minute, you know, if you're one of the top seven, you're going to play a lot of minutes whether you're starting yep. or not. So yep. you want to be out there competing and showing these coaches what you can do. Kinsley Allen there with a strong uh, yep. handle of the basketball, even though good defense, she was able to move it on. Alexa Rags, still the foul there. Still. She didn't like it. Two foul number four. Macy Mackey. Macy Mackey going to go to the line for the Lady Hornets. 52 seconds left. We've got the Healed Up boys lined up over there, kind of by their locker room, ready to come out. Yep. Uh, looking ahead a little bit, the. Tigers were able to beat the Hornets pretty handily at their place, but uh, I don't expect that this ball game to come out the same no, way. No, there's going to be a lot of energy for this boys game. Absolutely. Um, you got just naturally you have the rivalry between the two schools as well as it's a district game. Be a lot of energy for, for this boys game for sure. You know, kind of interesting takeaway looking at that boys game. And Gary Hendricks, long time Fort Gibson Tiger coach, extremely successful. Uh, when he left, Todd Dickerson, who is now the Tigers boys head coach, was his assistant. I mean, they're still great friends. Uh, yep. They talk a lot, talk a lot of basketball. And uh, with no doubt that Gary will have the Hornets primary ready. It will not be an easy game at all for the Tigers. Good hustle by Alexa Ragsdale, freshman. Good to see him out there flying around. Gary Hendricks uh, inducted to the Oklahoma Coaches Hall of Fame as well, I believe. This last year. That's right. Well deserved honor. Yep. You know, we're looking at a group. We got Gary Hendricks, we got Jerry Walker, who's a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, pretty neat to have all yeah. the Hall of Fame coaches that have come through here. Coach had a great career. Uh, coach Hendricks, I won't say that I played. I was part of the team for a couple seasons when he was here. We got our shot for the senior, just didn't go. Well, Nate, Lady Tigers, uh, final takeaway, what you said, they sped them up, game, they uh, Orleans, started the crashing the board, caused a turnover, attack and pushed the ball on offense and got good things out of it. 25-point victory. Take away for the Hornets. They played hard. Coach did a great job with them and had them playing hard the entire time. Absolutely. Like I said, if you're a Hill Hornets fan, a lot to be excited about this. There's a lot of young talent on the roster. With you got seven. a good base that you can, time, you can build upon. We're going to some high school principles. Ben Rivers of the Lions and Bruce Lee. So here we are awarding the district championship, which goes for 20 plus years for the Ty Lady Tigers being district Four champs. Moves on the bracket, Very cool. Play, 6 you know, when you're a Lady Tiger and you're a Lady Tiger coach, Anderson the only tough thing is it's a state tournament or a bust. It is. is a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. There is. When you're on a streak like that, you want to keep those things going. Yep. A lot of expectations. No one for the Lady Tigers was born <laughs> since we have had that run. Wow. So, I mean, you think about that. Everybody on that court, the day they were born, the Lady Tigers was going to the state tournament. That's something. Yes, it is. And here come the boys coming out. And I'm expecting we'll see here, you know, 
Could be a little chippy. Could be yep. a pretty intense yep. ball game. A lot of emotions yeah. in this boys game, for sure. You know, there was the uh, senior that we were talking about, Cole yep. Leach. He's going to the University of Arkansas. A great whole ride to play player. baseball, absolutely. Yep. And he's a really good basketball player. And Hunter, Hunter Harrison, his coach, I just was talking to him up in the stands, and I was telling him, like, man, tell me about the Leach kid, Hunter. And Hunter's like, man, he can do it all. He, 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 he catches, he plays short, he's about 88, 89, 90 off the mound. He can do it all. So it's always nice to be one of those guys. Absolutely. We'll give, absolutely. give a shout out here to the rest of our sponsors, Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glass, Post 20, Armstrong Grant, uh, Bank, Nevada Wireless, Cornerstone, Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Rick Spro Electric, Joe Max Fuller's Music, Jeff Walker, Edgar Jones, Max Driver, Tires In, Burroughs Post Frame Supply, Dr. Corey and Dr. Kimberly Dew Ross, GNH Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and the Skokie State Center, Michelle Mackey and Channel West and Owen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Six Four Mile Stop, Six Sports Quick Stop. Well, before we cut away, Nate, and take these off for a minute, I uh, just got word from athletic director and boys assistant coach Chuck London that viewership is an all-time high. I think that goes to your first time broadcasting. So uh, thank you for that, Nate. And uh, we'll take a little break, and we'll be back just a few minutes before tip-off. Thank you. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply. Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly DuRosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Family. It's bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities, because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. What happens when you bank local? Our businesses grow. Our 
schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. to Local Bank, a bank that answers when you call. Max Drive-In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive-In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. The Fort Gibson Education Foundation is a foundation that strives for student and education growth. We put forth every effort to assist our school to be the highest quality education system in the state. We offer our students the opportunity to build and grow in a healthy school environment. All donations given to the foundation are put directly back into the classroom for teachers and students so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. The foundation, along with all of our students and teachers, thank you for your continued support. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. We are Cornfields. 
and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply. Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Family. It's bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities, because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Let's meet their starters as senior, number zero, Rance Reynolds. A junior, number two, Ty Wilson. All right, Nate, they're going through our junior, starting lineups 11, here tonight. Uh, Hilldale basketball has been pretty decent junior, this year. They, they're going to be Lynch. happy with where they've been this season. Junior, I think they're a double-digit win team. Uh, have a chance to finish here over 500. Gary Hendricks, and, uh, Gary Hendricks always has them playing Wolf. well. Right. Yeah, you know, you know the, the Hornets are going to be well coached, for sure, between Gary and, and Hunter. Coach Harrison. And absolutely. And so here we are looking at this Tiger starting lineup. For the record of 15 wins and 8 losses, let's meet your starters. This group fish, uh, features three freshmen to go along with two seniors. Blaine Scott. The Blaine has been shooting the ball pretty well as of late. And uh, when he's shooting well from the outside, I feel like the Lady Tiger or the Tigers are at their best. Yeah. yeah. At 5'8", a freshman, number 22, Freshman Kai Morrell had a great season so far. And a 6'3", a senior, freshman, number 25, Cooper Wicks. There's our senior, Cooper and Wicks, six, to go with Blaine. Both freshman, of those guys can shoot the ball. You've got to respect him. Cooper Hackett. Big freshman, Cooper Hackett. Uh, future right for that guy. Got his, first dunk, yep. got his first dunk on Tuesday night. And what his first in-game dunk, by the way. He had one as an eighth grader also. Oh, okay. But it was his first high school in-game okay. dunk. So. Okay. Pretty special that he yep. dunked the ball in middle school game. Yeah, so he got what he dunked one in the eighth grade. Dunked one in the eighth grade. Yeah, we wow. were uh, that group. Uh, my son Dawson mm -hmm. played with him all the way up. That was at Wagner on a fast break. Brody threw a little lob from the rim. He threw it down. Oh wow! So it was pretty fun. Definitely feel like this is going to be a battle tonight. But I feel yeah. like if the Tigers can get through this one. They have a chance to make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, they may be unranked, but they have won, I believe, nine out of their last 11, maybe 10 out of their last 12. Just playing pretty good basketball yep. when you're on a run like that. Yep. This is the time of year when you won't be playing your best ball, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Really nice to see what Gary would come out in, or excuse me, Coach Hendricks. Uh, he's in that 2-3 yep. zone, but I, they will not be leaving our shooters open. If they no. do, I feel no. like... Uh, no. They will be getting out to the perimeter, for sure. Absolutely. So we are going to go with that high low. Wicks is open. 
Bang. He's probably been the most consistent three-point shooter, especially the last few games, it seems like. Well, I'd say over the course of the year, he has shot the ball yeah. extremely well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He has got to be, he's had a great senior year, been a lot of fun, shot it well. How about that? Cole Leach answers Ooh. the Arkansas commit for baseball, answers with a baseline three. And I'll tell you, that's a new wrinkle. He has not stepped out and shot that shot against us. So. Yeah. Well, he's a physical, strong kid. Yeah. If he can shoot that, too, he'll pull yeah. Cooper Hackett away from the basket, son. It'd be interesting, uh, knowing Coach Hendricks and being around him a lot in basketball, if somebody gets it going, we could see the box of one. We could. We too. could. Definitely know Coach Hendricks loves the box of one. If someone wants to get hot, he will go to it. The tough thing is I feel like this Tiger team that everybody can shoot enough, that is a really tough uh, matchup. No. Good defense there by the Hornets. I'll tell you, while we're talking about the Hornets, number 42, that Mason Forhan, uh, Jr. watched him had a huge game against Katusa, had a game win on a putback. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Cole Leach again with the Cole baseline Leach. three. Two for two. Now, like you said, Barry, if he gets – that's something he hasn't done before and Forhan is not anticipating. That can definitely be a problem for them tonight. Absolutely. And, I mean, that time Cooper Hackett was on the challenge. I mean, yep. he was in his face and he still knocked it down. You know, I'm talking about the reshuffling of kids. Cooper Weston and Cole Leach was a Fort Gibson Tiger up until the eighth grade. Oh, wow. Did and then he that? moved over yeah. going into high school. So. Good play there by Cooper Wicks. So we've got Wicks with five and Leach with six. So we'll see if somebody else gets a basket here. I'm going to say here's why. That's a great play by Coach Aaron. See, something we have not seen. So he is pulling Cooper Hackett away from the paint by putting Cole Leach out there. So then they produce the matchup yep. for uh, number 42, Mason, Four. where he can go post up yep. without Cooper being in there behind him. Yep. No, great tactic. And I may go with Hackett and Wicks because of Cooper, Cooper, and then we have can another Cooper that yes. subs in. So. Yeah, Cooper Crawley. That's right. Get three Coopers out on the court can definitely be difficult from a broadcasting standpoint. And if anybody's curious and hasn't watched a lot of the Tiger basketball, number 22 and number 11 are brothers. Yep. Uh, Scott's a senior and a freshman. Brody with a good drive in there. Brody Scott kicks it out to Kyle Morrell. Mm. No so good. Okay. Rebounded by Leach. We will take that shot. Kai yeah. is a yeah. very good shooter. Yeah. You, you want him shooting open threes. Four for three, and it's good. Boy, the Tigers better uh, yeah. get it going here. It'd be interesting to see now if you're recording some Tigers. We have been a man to man team. Right now, the man to man, they pulled us away and hit some shots. Yep. Hilldale student section definitely fired up after that. Dish inside to Cooper Wicks for the elbow, and it's good. He's three of three for seven points. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. Tigers are a good basketball team, really smart. They're going to adjust. They are not just going to watch uh, these two guys go shoot threes in the corner just because right. they're the post guys. And Kai Morrell with a good double makes it hard on him. Another good look, though. Number two, oh, Ty, Ty, Ty Wilson. Wilson. Hildell Hornet shoot the ball tonight. I believe they're four of four on threes yep, right now. Four of four. We're out of travel. There's Gary Hendricks with a defensive change. Yep. Got the travel. Travel on Blade Scott. We got big Cooper Hackett out there tying the shoe. Got to give him a second to get that done. Uh, Cooper Hackett had a great uh, football season also for the Great tackles. Tigers. Great tackle for the Tigers. I believe set a single season record for blocked, I don't know if it was punts or field goals, but he, he got yep. used that size to advantage. Yep. Good that chance to have the most blocks ever in a career by the time his basketball career is over, too. Absolutely. Good matchup. So you see here, they were trying to get that post, but this time we had a little more help from the guards. Brody Scott with the yep. steal. I'm going to tell you, when I think these Tigers are at their best, and I've seen it for years, when you Brody and Ty are at the top making steals, Cooper Hackett, four for, excuse me, Wiggs, four for four. Man. But when they're making steals and yeah. we can play fast, it's kind of like our, we don't always just look to play fast, but like those girls, when we can speed you up, they can cause some havoc, and they're just both freshmen up there doing that. Yeah. You know, looking ahead a little bit on that bench, uh, the, the two subs we've seen a lot, Paul Garrett, and uh, Cooper Crawley. 
they will both get their minutes tonight also. And that's kind of your rotational seven. You'll see someone else come in here and there, but that's the top set yep. for the Tigers. So you notice they cleared that paint where yep. they can dive Everybody him down. Everybody the perimeter for the Hornets there. Got a foul there on Cooper Wicks under the basket. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm not saying they haven't ran this all year, but I can tell you they haven't ran it against Fort Gibson Tigers all year. So there's Coach Hendricks putting in a there's new wrinkle. There's his wrinkle. That's right. 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 Uh, so far, pretty successful with it, but still a great game going here, 14-10. to 10. Another foul there on Wicks. That's going to be his second foul. Really tough foul call. I like what I see here from Coach Diggers. He's Wicks an A. Like, don't don't react. Two, you know, right. We don't say anything to the official. That's not who we are. With as good as he's shooting it tonight, you definitely don't want to see him get in foul trouble. Uh, no, he's got all ten points. It's kind of hard to think about taking right, him out. Right, right. And that was a really tough challenge. Uh, you know, there's no challenge. No one's to replay to see if he got body or not. Mm -hmm. or, but it, he thought he did a pretty good job. Wilson's second shot goes in. And the Tigers down 16 to 10. But I feel like we've seen the Hornets at their sharpest right now. I mean, gosh, they probably missed a shot. Cooper, Cro uh, excuse me, Cooper Hackett going to get the call there. I feel like we've seen that go the other way a lot this we year. We have, we have. It's uh, tough. I like big guys battling. Um, I understand you've got to blow it when it gets out of hand, but when they're fighting for a spot, that's just kind of part of it. Right. Brody Scott for three. No good. Put that post guy out there. And the corner. Here he goes again. Yeah. Number 42. Mason. Mason Ford. So traditional Gary Hendricks offense would be a high post and a low post packed in. Definitely something different to see. Is that the first three miss for the Hornets tonight? I believe I it, think was. it was. Yep. It was number 11 Cole Marshall with the miss. Brody Scott with an easy drive. Mm. Gosh, missed the finish, but that's yep. okay. Mason Ford with a good swipe there off Cooper Hackett. Kyle Morrell, intense great, defense, yeah, great aren't they? They're going to get the turnover right there. Yep. Good man to man defense. Hey, that Kyle Morrell can turn the heat yeah, up. He uh, can. Going up through middle school, he was a corner and also a receiver and occasional running back. And the kid knows how to get physical and play defense for sure. Right. So Brody Scott bringing the ball up the floor. So that's going to be a no great hurry. matchup between Ty and Cole Marshall the rest of the night, bringing that ball up the floor. Yes, it will. Off the mark for Scott. Good hustle play by Wicks, though, to get that rebound. Ooh, it's still there from Cole Marshall. Gonna draw the foul. Gonna go to the line. You know, we saw a really good man-to-man -man defense by Kyle Morrell. Number 11, Cole Marshall. Just number 11, Cole Marshall. And then Kyle, Cole Marshall went right around and did the same he thing. Did. He did. Really good. It's gonna be a great matchup between those two guys tonight. Absolutely. Shots are really good for Marshall. Something going on here. Yep. We're going to have to uh, make an adjustment. I don't know if it's the camera or what it is, but we've got to stay outside the lane. Yeah, we've got to get the photographer. Yeah, my friend, that's uh, John Hassler down there. He's uh. been taking pictures for many years at a lot of sporting events. Uh, a lot of times they end up back in Muskogee, Phoenix, or in a local newspaper. Gotcha. Him and his dad both, John Sr. and John Jr. So. Marshall's second shot's good. So Tigers trail 17-10. Uh, don't, don't look to panic. You know, this is uh, this is gonna be a battle. Right. Kai Morrell feeds a high post super hackett back to Kai. Wish with his first miss tonight. Tigers are crashing nope. boards. Hey. Gonna be Hoyt's ball. I didn't get a good look at that. that was, that's not sure that I saw yep. the same thing, yep. but you know, every yep. once in a while when there's bodies, sometimes right. you see him not call the foul and just go the other way. I'm not sure I always love that, but it's okay. 
it's better to get a little chippy foul. So Tiger's still in man-to-man. -man. Leaks can fire up another three. Misses that one. Good. Rebounded by Hardy Scott. He's pushing the ball up the court. Kicked yeah. out Kai. No good from three. Rebounded by Leach. One of the things that I like about Brody Scott's game, Brody uh, handles the ball really well with both hands, and he passes it well with both hands, which you don't see very often. Yeah. He can sling it cross court with either hand, and uh, when you're a shooter on the other end of that, it's a lot of fun. Really good man-to-man -man defense here by the Tigers. Cole Leach, big, strong kid on the inside. Two rackets, sure not making it easy. I can tell you, a lot of nights when that ball goes to the block on Cole Leach, that's two points. Uh, just the fact that Tigers have that size to get in a battle. It's a fun matchup with those two. It's like two good kids, two strong kids going at it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to watch. Fourth team foul for the Tigers. You know, Nate, that new rule, yeah. uh, five and a quarter, it's double bonus, and then it resets for the next quarter. There is no one-on-one -on -one anymore in basketball. Yeah. Now it's taken me a little bit to get used to that this year. Yeah, I had some friends yeah. that kind of asked me before the season started, and there still is the and one. Yeah. You know, that's the only time it's won is you make the shot and you're fouled. We're not sure we like that in the corner exchange there. We went a little early. Marshall gets his own oh, rebound, Marshall. three seconds left. Scott bringing the ball up, he's from half court, no good. You know, okay, you're the Tigers right now. Wicks has all 10 points. Somebody else got to get going for us. Yeah. We got to get some ball in the basket from these other yeah, guys. Yeah, they got to start creating some shots for sure. They definitely need to get Haggett more involved um, inside the paint for sure. Um, but yeah, Cooper Wicks, all 10 points right now. They're going to have to have some other uh, guys step up for here. I'll tell you, so I had the uh, fun opportunity. I've coached Cooper Hackett on the basketball team up until last year from the time he was about in the second grade. That kid runs hard, does good things. I love him. If we can get him a few of those jump baskets, let him get an offensive rebound, put it in. He cut in front of somebody on their face, you know, get a little easy layup or two. Get him going because he can definitely get it going. I'm pretty yep. sure that uh, Tuesday night he had 20 points, 20 rebounds. And his rebounds are something that get taken for granted. Yep. Uh, that's something, though, if he can steal the four or five offensive rebounds a game and that equals eight or ten points, that is a difference maker. Yep. Our Real quick, uh, I'm going to run through these sponsors uh, for our Tiger Vision. We have Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Lab Post, number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wires, Cornerstone Funeral Home, Green Toys, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware Supply, Renfro Electric, Zoe Max School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Driving, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Famous Supply, Dr. Corey and Dr. Kimberly Second Rossett, G and H Outdoor Out Services, Green Country Lanes and the Scooby Skate Center, Michelle Mackey, New Direction Dental, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile, and Sticks Quick Stop. Jordan Rodriguez. Oh man, they've checked in another guy yep. who buries a shot. Yep. Some new faces in for the Hornets right here. <laughs> you know, Got number 13, Brady Scott, into the game. So we brought two new guards. Uh, yep. He's going to leave those bigs. Well, there it is. There it is. Cooper Hackett. Got to get him more involved. Nate, were you in the Tigers huddle right there? I might have been. No, that's what we talked about earlier. Being down here so close, sometimes you can kind of hear a little bit what's going on and get a little bit better insight Absolutely. into some of the game plan. And I'm going to tell you, so I, like I said, I've seen Cooper. I've, I've got to coach him around him a lot. He is unselfish. If you feed yep. it in and they collapse, he will kick it out for three. Yep. Now, I think the day's coming here in a year or two. When it goes inside, you better get underneath the rim because he's throwing it down. Good rebound there by Ford. Tell you, that kid really impressed me this season. Uh, once I've watched him, he, he's a solid player. Yeah. Rebounds well, uses his body well, scores a basketball. Lots of talk about Leach, but they are a, it's a double-headed monster on the yeah. inside there. Yeah, two, two good big men for the Hornets for sure. Absolutely. Skip pass across to Scott. Good patient offense by the Hornets. Well coached team, like we said, two good coach teams here. We talk about coaches there for the Tigers. We have a little father-son duo as the assistant coaches of Chuck Lundy and Jordan London. Golly, Cole Leach again. Really interesting to see if we just stay man or if we change defenses. Right. 
say with uh, as hot as he is, he might have to get a little bit more creative on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. They were not anticipating him shooting the ball as good as he is tonight. Mm -hmm. Hack it underneath. Or, well, there's Brody Scott doing what yeah. he does. Yeah. Draws your guy. You better be ready because right. he's going to hit you for a layup. There he is on yeah. defense, too. And, you know, Scott, he's a little undersized. He's a little, you know, he's one of the smaller guys on the court, but he's always had to create his own shot and create his own lane, and that's one thing he's really good at is creating his own lane, creating his own pass and own shot. Bang, brother to brother for three. And I don't know if you saw that. That all started. Brody Scott threw a lot left-handed cross-court pass to Morrell. Then we skip it back around. And I will tell you, they, that kid does not like to lose. Brody will be giving it all he's got to make sure the Tigers get the W tonight. We go talk about that freshman group coming through middle school. They, uh, they only lost one game, and I will tell you, I was there. It was a one-pointer in a very fluke situation through all of middle school. They third of college championship all the way through. Now, that group didn't win it as freshmen, but their top players were out here in the high school. They didn't play in the yeah. championship. For you Hornet parents out there, I know their freshman group is very good, and they did win the Burger Valley Championship, which I was not surprised whenever uh, Fort Gibson kind of slid out of there. They have a very good freshman group coming out. So we see our first sub of the night. Uh, Mike Scott's yep. going a quick break. You'll yeah, notice uh, Coach Dickerson. Yeah, he'll, he'll go that 7 deep probably, and uh, if you're in that top seven, you're going to get a good at Yep. Would expect we might get a Carl siding I would, I would at some point, so. in this, yep, some point in this quarter. Interesting to see, you know, Carl maybe defensively what he might bring against one of those bigs. Just yep. a little different speed versus a little power. Three's off the mark. Cooper's going to push the ball. Cooper wins at the baseline. Now there's number three that's checked it for the thing. Dawson Field. Cooper Crawley. And it's good. Mm -hmm. well, that's a, he definitely brings the energy. He, he, he does. He's, he's one of the energy guys for this. For this you know, you don't team. have to start to be a leader, and he is kind of yep. a leader. Yeah. Uh, whether he's in the game or not, which I respect that about him. Right. And I'll throw out there, you know, Brody Scott, uh, that's about his fourth assist in a row. So he found Cooper Crawley. And we call him Carl Garrett. Yep, got Carl Garrett. Second year here, tag number 20, Carl Garrett. Cooper Hackett, he really good start there. Had a couple baskets to get this quarter going and kind of turn the momentum for us. Gonna have Carl matched up with Leach there on the block. Gosh, you feel like Hill has played absolutely amazing and they're only ahead by four. If you're yep. a Tiger fan, I'm still feeling good. Jordan Rodriguez is good for three. Jordan Rodriguez is Jordan Rodriguez for three. Big time shot. Stretch it right back to seven. I thought about doing good by doing four. Ooh, good off the mark. Very good. Maybe time for a little break for him. Yep. His legs back under him because he started the game hot. I guess the adrenaline going for sure. Three is off the mark for Dawson Fields. Kai Morrell from the baseline. No good. I know that's 0 for 3 for Kai, and I'm going to tell you, the kid can shoot it. Yeah. You know, and, and shooters, like we talked about, you keep shooting with volume. Lots of three. Oh, golly. Kai Morrell's kind for that rebound. He was at the rim when he got he that. He crashed to the boards right there. Great rebound by Kai. We're on the charge. I'm going to tell you, if you want to stay on the floor, get a chance to get on the floor for Gary Hendricks, go take a charge. It absolutely helps. He loves it. You know, shout out to Dawson Fields there. He missed two shots pretty far off the mark, but he goes back and plays defense. Right. You know, that's how you contribute to the game, even if you're not scoring in that moment. Hornets patiently looking. They're back there. Right, more traditional high low set. No good. Rebound to the basket. Great move there by number two. Who is that? Wilson. Ty Wilson, Jr. I read Ty's name in the paper today. I think he had 19 in the big game oh, for wow. them. So, guy that can get it going. 
So I did a little investigating between games. We're talking girls basketball. So they will be playing here. And it is the Tigers will either play Cleveland or Perkins, okay. depending of who wins that game tomorrow night. Same thing for the boys group. If you win, but that will most likely be Perkins as they're going to the stadium boys. You notice the Tigers are able to get that three-pointer in the corner about anything they want it. Knocking that shot down is going to be big tonight. Right. Cooper Hackett back into the ballgame. We talk foul trouble, but we have Wicks with two, right? And that's about the only one. Uh, I believe Brody Scott's got two as well. Okay, yeah, because he got that yep. charge, didn't he? That's yep. right. Yep. I don't think the Hornets have any real foul trouble going right now. He's giving Mason a rest right now, but these other guys have come in. The young group's done pretty well for him, though. Yep. I think you got Rodriguez and uh, Fields are both sophomores. Is that Rodriguez again? Great job staying with it right there for Rodriguez. And if you can hear, the Hilldale crowd is loud. And they know are they're here. Student section definitely has a lot of energy right now. You know, if you're a player, you love an environment like this, Absolutely. or I always did. The Absolutely. louder the crowd, the more fun it was. Absolutely. Three's no good for Cabrera. Rebounded by Leach. You got the Tiger student section over there. They're ready to go crazy. They yep. just need a good positive yep. play to get them going. In my opinion right here, Tiger's defense needs a steal. And Rodriguez is on fire. Wow. I believe that may be 11 points for Jordan say, Rodriguez I, I, off the bench. I say, I'm pretty sure they're on a pretty good run right now. And in that stretch, I think the Tigers have gone down to miss three or four threes. Okay, you talked about it to start the quarter. We need a little Cooper Hackett. I want him to get a touch. I'm not saying he's got to get a shot, but get him a touch in there. If he gets a chance to go up, great. If not, get that inside right. out yep. motion. We got to open it up a little bit. Yeah. Get the ball to him. Let him make a choice. Go up. Kick it out. You know, and I will tell you, when we went to Hilldale and we we put it on him pretty well uh, about two weeks ago. They were in this two-three zone. We didn't hardly miss a three. But, you know, that's how it goes. Yep, there we go. I think they heard us. Yep. I think they heard us. Yep. Cooper Hackett again. It's good hesitation move by Cooper right there. Let right. the big guy fly, then score his right. up. Great finesse move. Yep. Smart kid, good player. Good kid also, knowing him off the court. Climb the rail. Man, good physical man-to-man -man defense. That guy's strong with the ball, though. Yep. Cole Marshall definitely handles the ball very well. Yes, he has. Cole is a tall, long point guard. Uh, you know, he's, he's got good size to him. He's 6'2". He's every bit of it. Yep. I have a feeling right here they want to do. Ten seconds left. Mm -hmm. Believe me, he's in no hurry. He wants that last yeah. shot. Not a bad exchange. Rodriguez, Gosh. uncontested. Rebounded by Blaine Scott. Shots yep. up and no good. You know, both teams happy right there. We'll take the stop. Phil does okay that they didn't give up any points. Team 11 point lead for the Hornets going into halftime. Nate, what do you think here? What's going to happen in that locker room for the Tigers? What are we going to come out with? What changes are going to happen? That's a great question. Um, you know, you're going to see, I think you're going to see a lot of the older guys, you know, step up, calm everybody down. You're going to see Blake Scott, you're going to see Tony Crawley trying to calm everybody down. Hey, this is what we do. We're going to start getting the ball into Cooper Hackett. Calm down. Hey, our shots are going to start falling. You're going to see those senior guys, older, older upper five, kind of step up a little bit. I agree. Uh, we had a We're going to listen up here while Coach Walker's talking. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of you. I felt like it should come from us personally as a family. How much your prayers and thoughts and, and love have shown our family uh, with things you've done for us, the meal train, and uh, the funds you guys have helped us with so all our kids can be down there in Texas with our son and his family. Just want to thank you. I know several of you people over here have, have contacted me and texted me. And it's just good to know that uh, when it comes to tragedy, we all are the same team on that thing. God's been good to us, and uh, we're going to uh, praise Him in the storm, and we're going to do it in the calm. That's what we are. We've got to believe in our faith. But I want to thank you for your support. Uh, you don't know how much that means to us. Thank you.
Great words of wisdom yeah. there from Coach Gary Walker. Uh, great Christian example when he's out there coaching and also off the court. Uh, his family, if you don't know, we won't give the details. They endured a, a very hard tragedy and uh, pretty awesome to hear him talking about. You've got people from both sides of the river. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Rivalry where we want to win, but uh, we're going to believe together and we're going to join together in our time and support each other. So, Absolutely. Hey, take a break here, come back at the end of halftime, and we'll be ready for more Tiger basketball. Keith Hardware and Supply has been Max Drive In is Fort Gibson's oldest. The team at New Direction.